Hello! Welcome to episode 10 of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Let's play. We have now entered the double digits. How do you feel? I feel awesome that I'm going to shoot something with my amazing... And miss. Twice. Hey. <laughs> Third time's the charm, as they always say, right? Yes. Yes. My amazing shot. Though my shot isn't that amazing. It used to be, but even it's though, not anymore. Even though it is fun to shoot from further away, I usually shoot it while on that platform so I don't have to fly over and then wait for it to move up again. See, it's already down, and so now I just have to do this. Yeah, but you know, you wasted valuable seconds. You know, those three seconds really could have been spent opening that door. Yeah, but you see if I jumped over... Ooh, first boss. Or first mini-boss. First real mini boss. Yeah, I was gonna say you just, got, you just <laughs> 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 Sorry, my train of thought just got interrupted by pure awesome. Um what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, you were you had already called the other thing a mini boss, so this is Ugh. like the second mini boss. But this oh, yeah. is the real mini boss because it has you know awesome. This, yeah. I guess, um, we should probably go over how to beat this guy. Well, I don't know if you need to really explain it, because it is a video, so they can watch you do it, and they'll be like, wow! Duh! The skills. Uh. But essentially, if um, you are deaf and like to play this game blind, um, he has to go into a deck of flower and then hit the turtle from underneath. Oh, yeah. I know it's like a tortoise, but turtle. <laughs> yeah. And then when he's crawling around on the ceiling, I have to hit him with an arrow. Arrow. Rinse and repeat. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, whoops. Come on. Yeah, I always fun. thought he said Geodude when he goes on. Yeah. Geodude. Wow. I am failing. Hard. Yeah, and there's not really much else to comment. We've already pretty much established everything Ugh. about this guy already. Though your favorite. His name is what, though? I don't know. Oh, Mad Gecko, I think. Yeah. Well, you could. No, it's just it's a gecko. Just and we got him just before the arrow pierced his heart. And then when Mad Gecko or Gecko dies, a froggy appears. What are the frogs for? We will find out later. Yep. But we won't find out as yet. is customary with any time I see a frog. Frog! Okay, we're done with that now. So yes, that is the third frog we have come across in this, in this, in let's, this play let's play. So play. So Why are there so this? many? I don't know. It's the boss key! The boss key, we can go to the boss room. But we don't have all the fairies yet. Yeah, that's a shame. We need to get the rest of them. One thing that I didn't like when uh, like the newer games came out, Wind Waker and whatnot, is that they changed the name of the boss key to the big key. And for whatever the reason, that really bugged me <laughs> the first time I saw it. Well, the keys are go to the boss. Like, it's accomplishment. You see boss key, you're like, yes, I made it. But since the keys are called small keys, I guess, they, are they called small keys? I believe they are. Yeah. Um, I guess they're all like, well, well this key's bigger, so let's call it a big key. Right, guys? And the, everyone at Nintendo is all like, oh, yeah, we're clever. That, that's my uh, interpretation <laughs> of why the name changed. Anyways... With the arrows, what I just did is I l hit the um, the torch in the middle of the room, so the water down there is no longer poison. Those lilies will no longer eat Link if I jump down on them, and everybody's happy. Is everybody happy? Everybody, even the Skull Kid. But I'm not happy. He's not here right now, though. But I'm not happy. Why not? I'm not talking about him. I'm not happy. Why are you not happy? Well, you see, my tail is a long one go on it while I ended. strike this torch. On the first try? No. <sighs> Not on the first try. So, attempt number 57. And he gets it. No, <laughs> just kidding, guys. Uh, there was no cuts, as you obviously noticed. Even though I might just make him cut it anyway. Just kidding. I'm an awesome shot with the bow. What can I say? No. Though I, ha I am kind of fail at this. Like, now I know I can just go around, but I used to burn myself on top of the torch. <laughs> I've never done that. If you fly over top of the torch as a Deku, you kind of burn to death. I'll give you guys a demonstration, because yes. we have lots of extra time in this video for shenanigans. So, let me just quickly run up here, get the chest for fairy number 11. I, I stopped paying attention to it. It should fairies. be fairy number 11. But you're right. Yes. I know the numbers of all the fairies. Well, except when you goofed up on the fourth and fifth ones. Yes. 
out of order. Anyways, here's what happens when you try to fly the shortcut, or not really, over top of the torch and kind of land on it. Oh, I missed. You, you missed. You just uh, failed your own uh. demonstration. Alright, so this is attempt number two, because, um... Yeah, I know you weren't recording that. I am now. You are. You know what? I'm just gonna quit this. Let's just let's just go through that door. Yeah, because um, our demonstration of trying to um, viciously murder Deku Link is not actually working. I'll be honest, I've never seen it work. But I guess. Are there any that's... kids watching? This is a lesson to you. Don't try to murder or wooden animals. Well, at least they won't have to worry about too many since there's not many wooden oh, <laughs> animals. What's dangerous in this room? We have a dragonfly. I thought you said you were a good shot. I am. But my hands are... No, you're, you're just stressing because you're thinking of the uh, impending another? shooting gallery later. It's a dragonfly, another skeletula, another skeletula. Excellent. <laughs> that shouldn't have hurt me. Anyways, there are four fairies in this room. There is one over here. There is one two floors up. You already saw oops. You already saw me free one from a bubble, so there's that one over there. Kinda Actually there's one in a bubble there. I'm just gonna kill two birds with one stone when I get up there. Ugh. Oh, there we go. And gotta bring out the date. Great Fairy's Mask. This should be Fairy number 13? What do you think about the number 13? Um, well, today's Friday, and you just got the 13th. Well, it won't be Friday by the time this is uploaded, unless you specifically wait until next week's Friday. That's way too long to wait to upload a video. It is. That is a whole week when we're going to have episodes. Oh yeah. Yep. I like how we're just talking about the technical details while this recording is going. Aren't you guys just so interested in what's going on right now? Like, we don't really have much to explain yet. Yeah. Well, except Until for now. what I just saw. Um, as you saw, uh, I collected all the fairies. You return the fairies to the fairy fountains outside each of the temples. I may have already explained that before in the last video, but we'll be going there soon after we fight the boss, which will be very, very soon. Incredibly soon, even. So soon that I'm going to see who's knocking at my door. I'll be right back, fella. Okay, now that that's out of the way, it's smooth sailing to the end of the temple. Is it smooth? It didn't look very smooth to me. I decided not to try and land on the torches again. <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to try and defeat this boss in the fastest way possible. If I pull it off, you guys will see. It is hard to pull off. So maybe I'll do it the regular way. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what you end up doing when it begins. And our first boss... The Masked Jungle Warrior, Odawa. Dawa. I have to say, out of all bosses, he's got the coolest sound effects. In fact, he kind of scared me. Oh, I missed. Failed. I first played this game when I was nine, and when I got to this point, it was all really creepy. The music with his uh, sound effects were just like... Ugh, oh, I keep missing. Whoa, I'm almost out of arrows, too. Why am I almost out of arrows? I don't know. What have you been doing? Shooting stuff, I guess. And failing? I don't know what I've been doing. Anyway, if you can jump slash him constantly... Oh, I'm doing it. You can infinite him. And then you'll miss out on all of his attacks, so if you fail, you'll find out that he... We'll uh, summon some creatures and, like, moths and whatever the other thing was. I oh, don't yes. know the official name. And we'll corner you in a ring of fire. Yes, He'll insert... Summon... You should insert the music right there. Yeah. <laughs> Born <Moths>. ring of fire. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, there is our first full heart container. Woo! And our first remains mask. But yeah, his attacks include 
summoning moths, scarabs. He yeah. he makes rocks fall from the ceiling. Yeah, and I, I've like never Lady seen Hood that. Hood said but I once, know what a great ring of fire forms, which does kill the moths. Yes, you. Uh, and then he just comes and is all like, "Ja, I'm going to hit you," and you're like, "No." Oh yeah. Yeah, that's how all battles go because uh, they are, they want to kill you, and then, well, I'm just rambling at this point. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where are we here? We are in the spirit world. Oh yes. Every time you collect a remains mask, you come here before you return back to Termina, where you meet one of these four who are there. That you should bring here. Yes. And look at that. Perhaps. It's a giant. A big old giant. They look no, kind of weird. No, I mean, you can't no, really see no, due to the nice no. mist, but... It seems to be saying something. Is, is, is it trying to teach us a song? Timmy's in the well? <laughs> Timmy's in the well. <laughs> the first time I saw this, I liked when Tattle was just, you know, moving around. Bouncing around. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, Tattle's probably my favorite fairy of all the Zelda games. Not that there's much competition. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Navi and Tattle and Tail. Yeah, Tail also isn't a, really in the game. There's also a fairy in Phantom Hourglass, which uh, you I've wouldn't know Phantom about because you've never yeah. played it. I Not do know you can control it around with your cursor, can't you? Yeah. Yep. And then there's the fairy in um, Twilight Princess. Yes. If you're playing the Wii version. Yeah, but you don't talk to that one. No, but it's there. The fairies account. exist. I'm talking to the ones that you talk to. Yes, in Phantom Hourglass, you do talk to them. I like how we're not talking about <laughs> this giant and uh, so whatever. Quickly I branching off into a tangent here, we just learned the song called The Oath to Order. We won't be playing it for a little while now, and while the giant moans at us, Tattle somehow knows what he's saying. So apparently we have to call the giants or something with this melody. I, I, I don't know what that means. In a particular spot. Yeah. In a particular place at a special time. And call us? Like, what is he saying? Is Ghostbusters, like... clearly. Yeah. Okay, so all the poison in the swamp is disappearing, and there's a walkway conveniently to exit the temple. Yay! Yo, we're gonna get a spiel from Tattle in a moment. Yep. We finally land back into a mysterious part of the temple, and then Tattle, you know, goes away the and thought... The four people Tail talked about. Do you think he was talking about the spirit that was sealed inside that mask? Uh, oh, 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 hey, you were pretty good out there. <laughs> Have you done this before, or what? Slowly going away again. Now, just keep up that pace and save the other three. <laughs> hey, um... I wonder... All that stuff I did to you. Y your horse. I... I apologize. What did she Sorry. do to the horse? Scared the horse and knocked him off. There, I apologize. Obviously so don't hold it against me. Location. Got it? Okay, so Tattle apologizes. Now then, we've helped the princess just like the monkey asked. <laughs> Alright. Mountains. Let's go to the mountain. <laughs> but what is this behind me? Well... We'll have to find out in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda, or Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Thus See you guys. concludes episode 10. See you guys. Peace out.